Daily Enthusiast. How are you doing? I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. So as the title suggests, I've decided to sell my best Mini. We'll get to that in a moment. But firstly, the Racing Green. I'll be honest, I've not had a chance to get much done since the last episode. However, I have taken the subframe down to the shot blasters to be shot blasted and powder coated. So before we get into which Mini I'm gonna sell, let's just have one more look at the Racing Green and then we'll move the garage around and I'll explain a little bit more. So, like I say, the subframe has gone off to be shot blasted and powder coated now. It's being powder coated in gloss black black. That should be back in a couple of weeks, which means I need to have a bit of a sort around on the various boxes I've got sitting around the garage to have a look at what parts I've already got, because I do keep doing this thing where I double things up and accidentally ordering twice. So I need to look at what parts I need to get the subframe back in, things like subframe bushes, subframe mounts, um, yeah, I need to refurbish the top arms, etc, etc. Um, but on this engine bay, obviously this has had now a, a week to dry and harden, and I'm still super, super pleased with it. Sometimes paint, especially cellulose, really sort of shrinks back um, because it's predominantly just um, cellulose paint and thinners, so once the thinners fully dries out you you find it it tends to it tends to sink back quite a bit this is a, a 2k uh gloss lacquer and it looks just as shiny and it just looks still looks wet like it was over a week ago so i'm really really pleased i've started putting things back on so i can start putting stuff back in the engine bay now which is really good because i am genuinely running out of space everywhere so we've got the vin number back on and um, I will just start putting things back in like the bulkhead bungs and things like that. I need to get the pedal box in the plate on the back here. And then, like I say, the plan is to get the subframe in, get it on all four wheels and rolling with the racking just to make it easier to move around. I am struggling a little bit at the moment with space. It's summer. I want to be out using the cars. And yeah, it does come to be a bit of an issue. So let me have a little bit of a move around and let's talk about which car I'm selling and why I'm selling it. Right then, so if you hadn't guessed, the car I'm going to sell is my best Mini, best condition Mini. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it is by far the best condition in terms of mechanicals and bodywork and paintwork. It is, it is in, well, it was fully restored, fully repainted and drives absolutely beautifully. Um, I really enjoy Sprout. It's a lovely, lovely car to drive, but needs must. And by needs must, I mean, obviously, I'd love to keep the cars forever, uh, but I do struggle with having three cars in the garage and trying to work on one at the same time. Obviously, I've moved the racing green into this corner now because I need to start prepping sprout and it should be fine i've just got to take it get it mot'd um but there is one thing i want to sort out with the paintwork on it i'll talk about that in a moment right so this is uh the first start for sprout in probably wow actually seven eight nine months i can't remember whether i've moved it in and out in between i might have done to be honest um i've done exactly the same as what i've done on pl i've just disconnected the coil cranked it over Took about 30 seconds until the oil pressure light went out, and this is the first start. Such a sweet little car, this is missing. So, like I said, uh, Sprout is in beautiful condition. I've literally just taken the covers off it, so that's a little bit dusty under the bonnet and that, but aside from that, it's uh, it's pretty much good to go. Um, obviously, in the time I've owned it, I've done everything to it. It's 
absolutely beautiful as you know go and back and watch the build series if you're if you're not familiar with project sprout obviously it's got the boot build as well as well done by stitched up interiors that is a really nice touch on the car and it's only ever been out to kind of one show uh, one proper show to be honest um, where I entered it into the show and shine which was National Mini Cooper Day at Bewley and it won its class um, so yeah I was very very pleased with that so the bit I need to do and this has been it was disappointing actually so if you go back and watch the build series I skinned the near side door this door had a couple of little uh, kind of spidery rust bits in the skin at the bottom which I thought were okay to clean off cure rust and and have painted but the problem is uh pretty much within a few months it had started to come through so i don't know how well this will come out on the camera but there are a few rust bubbles down here um and at the back of the door again we've got a few rust bubbles here as well the rest of the door is pretty much perfect um just of note the frame the inside frame of the door is very good so uh what i'm going to do i'm in a bit of rush to get this done because the guy wants the car pretty quickly um i'm going to order a whole new door a heritage door they're 565 pounds um i could reskin that door but it's going to take me half a day to reskin it i'm a little bit worried it won't quite go right and i'm also worried as well so I, Mark gave me some leftover paint, the original paint from the car. I'm really worried with the colour it is in just even if it is the original paint for the car, when I paint it, it's going to come out a different shade or something like that. I mean, obviously that was lacquered and then wet flatted. So just the layers of lacquer you put on the amount of paint you put on can affect the shade. So my thinking is I'm going to get a new door. I'm going to paint it and if the paint all goes horribly wrong then i'll still have that door to put on in the meantime and I'd, i don't know maybe i can get it professionally painted or something like that then i'll give it to the new owner and they can get it done um, but hopefully i'll put a new door on paint it and it'll all be okay um like i say I, I could just skin that but there is a little bit of an ulterior motive as well so the driver's door on the racing green um Although it never looked that bad on the videos, the bottom of it is rotten as a peach. So that it needs the bottom of the door and the door skin on that door. So I may well just use Sprout's door, reskin Sprout's door and use that on the racing green. Not quite sure yet. I'm sure it'll work out. But yeah, that's it really. Um, yeah, I need to get it prepped for an MOT. Get it MOT'd. Uh, put a door on get it all lined up get it painted and then it will go um so i guess a big burning question like i said or you know needs must why am i selling it so in an ideal world um you know i'd just keep collecting minis but like i say ultimately you can only drive one at a time it gets a pain having trying to keep three cars in the workshop but really the big reason i'm selling it is because the cost of living crisis on I'm in my lovely house, I've been here five years, and that means my five year fixed rate mortgage has come to an end, uh, which I got five years ago, at around about 2%. So, uh, do the maths. I'm sure you can imagine how much that means my mortgage is now going up to, but it's quite a significant uh, uplift and it will, in, you know, it will impact me. Uh, and I've got three minis sitting in the garage. Um, like I say, I can only drive one at a time. I love this car, but I'd rather, to be honest, pay off a nice chunk of my mortgage. Uh, I also need to buy another car for work. Um, where I work is uh, Croydon in the southern south part of London, and uh, they're imposing ultra low emission zone charges from the 1st of August, I think it is, or August, September. So that means I need to replace the BMW Mini because even though it's a low emissions car, uh, very very cheap on it's 20 pound a year road tax because it emits very very low co2 it's not 
euro six. Um, so it means it's going to cost me £12.50 every day I drive to work unless I buy a car that's euro six. So um, I did actually have some money saved up for a new car for work, but I think I'm going to put that money into paying a big chunk off my mortgage and I'll use the money from selling Sprout to buy a car for everyday use that is Euro 6. I ain't got a clue what I'm going to get yet. Um, but that's where it is. So who's it going to? I'm not going to say at the moment. That'll all become clear in due course. But it is going to a subscriber of the channel. Um, I'm not going to advertise the car for sale. Please don't ask me prices and that sort of thing. I've already agreed uh, with the buyer. He's been asking me about the car for probably six to nine months now uh, and I keep putting him off and putting him off and um, I've been helping trying to find him a Mini but it's really really difficult to find a decent one and I just got to this stage I thought well you know uh, needs must this guy needs a Mini um, I know this is a decent one and um, yeah I'm sure I'll see the car again and stay in contact and he has always said he'll give me first refusal if he ever sells it in the future so at some stage it may well come back to the channel um, and I'm sure we will see the car again. So that's only a short video this week. Uh, not much work done on the racing green to be honest. Um, but yeah, busy life. Life gets in the way. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing and I'll catch you again next week. Cheers.